What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is Forgo, and today's gonna be one of those videos where I'm like really, really happy and excited, but I'm also pretty damn upset. Which uh, I know sounds strange, but after I explain what happened to me today, you guys will probably more than likely understand where I'm coming from. So today, I decided to go ahead and reforge a CTP of destruction in hopes to get a mighty CTP of destruction to get that increased boss type to get that strike proc right. And when I did reforge it, guess what I got? I got a brilliant CTP of destruction, which is pretty damn awesome. I was flipping out. I was all over the Discord. Look what I got, blah, blah, blah. You know, I was just so happy I got this thing. Unbelievable. My first brilliant, right? With a 7% chance whenever I reforge that thing and I get a brilliant. But if you notice, look at the stats on that thing. It is increased all attack by 24%, and it has a 210% damage proc. Other than that, it's pretty much normal when it comes to the uh, CTP of destructions, you know, with the penetration, guard break immunity. And then, of course, we got a high amount of critical damage, which is nice. But this obelisk for someone like me, I know it's going to sound strange, but it's completely useless. Uh, this thing, I'm willing to bet, will not be more powerful than a mighty CTP of energy, which is sitting next to it right there, that has an all attack proc by 20%, but you also got the 30% chain of damage, especially when you have a lot of pierce on your account. I'm willing to, because this, this, the brilliant CTP only gives you 210%, right? Well, this one here, right? I'm only getting 210% proc. And this other mighty CTP here, this mighty CTP, gives me a 200% damage proc, but I get ignore dodge, right? So that's one less striker that I have to use to do the full amount of damage to null. And I have the 30% chain hit damage, which I'm willing to bet is still going to be stronger than that brilliant CTP with 24% all attack. And the reason I bring this up is the only way I can change that damn thing is if I change the option on the brilliant CTP, which means I have to use another ctp to reforge this thing and this is something that sucks about brilliance is whenever you're reforging a mighty ctp you can just use regular obelisk you don't need to use reforge ctp so if i want to reforge this one here i can just use regular obelisk so we hit change option and i can put one of these in there and i can actually change the options on this thing and the thing that sucks is you actually change both your options you'll change that yellow stat and you will change the other stat down here. So that proc can actually get lowered, increased, depending on where it's at. And that is one expensive process whenever you're talking about a brilliant CTP. If I reroll that thing with the one CTP of destruction that I got, I could get completely screwed. And I want the strike proc, right? I want the strike proc because it's so much better than this just increased basic attack by 24%. Because we've learned that the strike proc is godly in World Boss Ultimate, which is really where I want to be using this thing. If you're going to find Game God, there it is. I had to look for it a little bit. But whenever you go to skill name glossary, right? And you go to strike. I mean, this thing gives you ignore dodge, 100% ignore dodge. You don't even have to use a ignore dodge striker for this obelisk. So especially like whenever you're playing in super villains and you're from stage 35 to 39, which is where I'm at currently against Null, I want to have something like this because it does insane damage. And that five second strike proc, whenever it's up, acts just like the regular procs like uh, from the CTP of Judgment or the Rage that lasts for the entire five seconds. So even if you miss your damage proc for one attack, you'll still get the increase of boss types for that duration of the five seconds. So even if you miss a proc, you're still going to do a lot of damage as long as the strike proc is built up. So I would prefer to have that strike proc any freaking day of the week compared to this crap right here. And I know I says crap and I know it sounds like I'm being greedy, but I'm telling you this obelisk, it's not going to compare to say like the mighty CTP of energy. It's not gonna do better than that thing. And I'm willing to bet that this CTP of destruction won't do as good as a mighty CTP of destruction, like the one that I actually have on my girl Cersei here. Let's see if I can find Cersei real quick. There she is. And look what she's got, right? She's got the increased damage L2 boss types by 110%. That's that strike proc that I'm talking about. 
And that's what we really want, right? You can get an insane increase to boss types with those brilliant CTPs. I mean, I don't, I'm not really sure what the cap is on them. I know it can go up to 160%, which is crazy. That's 50% more than this thing. And then you also would get the additional damage dealt to boss types by you know a certain percentage of concentration and with a brilliant i know it can go up to like 50 percent maybe more i'm not really sure but it's just it adds an insane amount of power but the fact that i have this brilliant with the all attack sucks and this is something that net marble like seriously needs to change honestly what this brilliant ctp of destruction did for me is remind me how shitty this system is it really did. It reminded me of how bad it was because, I mean, with the Mighties, it's, it's, it's not as bad. We do get free CTPs every month. It's not as bad. But when it comes to brilliance, the fact that you have to use another freaking CTP to re-roll that damn thing and it actually changes your stats, like we should have some kind of locking mechanism that can lock the stat that you want, right? I could lose that 210% damage proc down there. I don't want to lose that damn thing. But I don't. But the thing is, I could get a way lower damage proc. I mean, I have no idea what will happen if I change this thing. I mean, I might get screwed. I might get something good. I really don't know. And I really don't want to equip this obelisk on anybody because that brilliant CDP is going to cost an arm and a leg to unequip. And there's really no character that I want to put it on because it's just giving an increased attack by 24%. Just like I said earlier, man, that mighty CTP of energy sitting next to it. I bet you anything is going to do more damage than that CTP of Destruction. I bet you anything, it'll do more damage than that brilliant CTP of Destruction. But that's a pretty expensive uh, test right there because it would cost me, you know, 800 crystals to unequip this thing, test it on this character, and then throw on the mighty, the brilliant CTP of Destruction, and then test that. And then I'd probably want to unequip that, and that's going to cost an arm and a leg. So, I mean, it's a huge investment for me to even test it. Not something I even really want to do, Especially now because I have this mighty CTP of destruction actually on Cersei and there is an RNG factor with her because you, she has a damage accumulation based on damage you take. So the testing wouldn't be super accurate. So it'd really be better to test it on a different character, which can get even more expensive as far as how many crystals you spend. So my question to all of you is, you know, I'd like your advice. What do you think I should do? Do you think I should just go ahead and try to re-roll this thing and take my chances to see if I can get a strike proc? Because honestly, with that all attack, this might this brilliant CTP, I always want to say mighty, but this brilliant CTP of destruction, it's just going to sit in my inventory. I'm not even going to use it because I have no use for this thing the way it's sitting right now, which is crazy. And that's that's what upsets me, right? On one hand, I got the brilliant, which is godly. I'm, I'm, I was blown away. I was freaking out when I got the damn thing. But then when I realized that this 24% attack, I mean, just, you know, 210% prog, it's just 10% more than what it was before. It's good. Don't get me wrong. But it's not as good as that strike proc. That strike proc is going to be a lot better because I don't have to use near as many. I don't have to use any ignore dodge strikers as long as the strike proc's up. And I'll get the increase to boss types. It's going to be way more powerful than this increase to all attacks. So what do you all think I should do, man? Do you think I should go ahead and try to re-roll this thing? Do you think I should leave it as it is? I'm kind of leaning on maybe just saving more ctps to try to re-roll that thing a few times but i know like youtubers like godzillinator who you know he would do this all the time and i remember he put out a video a good while back where he actually re-rolled a ctp of judgment over 40 times over 40 times because it changes your yellow stat and your orange stat it changes your prog it changes whether it's going to be a strike or all attack whatever it may be well, in this judgment's case, it's a different thing, but still, you get what I mean. It changes it, and you don't know what you're going to get. And you might have to re-roll these things. You might have to re-roll these things. God knows how many times before you actually get the stat that you want, which is ridiculous, Snap Marble. You really, really should have a mechanism where we can actually lock down a stat once we get it. I would lock down that 210% damage proc if that was the case, because if I could lock down that 210% damage proc then I would easily re-roll this thing and try to get a strike proc. But the problem is that 210% damage proc will change and it could drop tremendously and hurt the obelisk as far as how much damage it actually puts out. So let me know in the comments what you all think about what I should be doing. You know, do you think I should re-roll this thing? Uh, do you think I should just keep it the way it is? And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GNT plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.